Hey everyone, in this week's not so quick tip, I wanted to show you two things I thought would be helpful. The first is something that often gets overlooked, that's the insert from McMaster car option. To use this, select the drop down under insert, and then find your way to the insert from McMaster car component. This will open up the McMaster website in an inset where you can search for components you're wanting to add to your design. In this case I'll search for a generic gear, then filter through the specific type I need. When the size is found, I select the part number, and if there are CAD models for this specific design, you'll see a small CAD icon. And here you can get both 2D drawings and 3D models. To add the model to my Fusion 360 design, select the file type, then hit the Save button. This will place the model into the current design. Pretty easy. And in turn opens up a huge catalog of parts that you really shouldn't have to waste your time modeling. So with part one of this quick tip done, let's move on to part two. And the reason I wanted to do this is that they're somewhat related. Next. I want to emboss the McMaster part number to the side of this model, but I don't want to use straight text. Instead, I'll leverage the incredible abilities that our SVG insert will open up. To create SVGs, I'll be showing two pieces of software. We'll use Illustrator to make the text, which you'll see gives us an insane number of ways to contort it. In addition to simple arcs, you can make the text bulge, shell, flag, fish, rise, twist. Honestly, I don't even know what half of these do. At the end of the day, I'll settle for a simple arc, then save it as an SVG or scalable vector graphic. Back in Fusion 360, to use the SVG, I'll select the Insert SVG from the same insert menu as before. Define the facer plane I want to attach it to, then scale and place it to my liking. Once it's in place, I can use the Press Pull tool to make the emboss. Now that's pretty neat, but a more impressive way to use SVGs in Fusion 360 is bringing in complex logos or images into your designs. For my next trick, I'll be using a free software called Inkscape. I've opened up this raster image of the Instructables logo. I want to turn it into an SVG. To do this, I'll use a feature under Path called Trace Bitmap. Once in this tool, I can use criterion like color or brightness to delineate the bitmap into an SVG. To show you what I did, I'll move the original bitmap to reveal the vectors I traced. Back in Fusion 360, I'll place the SVG on a plane then use the press pull tool to turn it into bodies. After adding a little color, it looks great. Hope that helps. Have a great week. See ya.